Ya Bataya Ko Bataki Ya and these little lanterns are from IKEA. They light up, so I sky. Sahib. Yes. Hi. Don't even think. Allah is about like Hello, beautiful people. Good morning, and welcome back to a new vlog. I hope you guys are doing well. So today is officially the first of March. I can't believe I'm saying that. It's already the third month of the new year. That's so crazy. I don't know how time flies. It's so scary. But anyway, Ramadan is around the corner. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I absolutely love Ramadan. So we are just get getting into the festive period. I received a few boxes from uh, Amazon to start decorating the house. I'm excited for that. So I'm just going to kind of tidy up uh, around the house and do an unboxing with you guys. And we got a new espresso machine, Nespresso, let's go, <laughs> espresso, a new Nespresso machine. And when I tell you, I am so in love. If you guys don't know already, you guys know that I am, we actually, me and Ahmed, we absolutely love coffee. And since boycotting Starbucks, we were like, why don't we just, you know, invest in a Nespresso machine? So that is what we did. And it also came with a milk frother. If you are gonna buy anything, I would absolutely recommend you, if you love like hot drinks, hot chocolate, matcha and coffee, all that, invest in a nice frother. So our um, Nespresso already came with a milk frother and when I tell you, I have been making warm hot drinks left and right. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go and make me maybe a matcha or coffee. I think I'll have coffee, I need a little caffeine to help me. Um, get some energy to clean the house but um, yeah so we got a new Nespresso machine and I also got a few PR gifts um, for Ramadan so I'm gonna do a unboxing with you guys and just getting ready for Ramadan getting all of my uh, abayas out the only thing I'm quite sad about is it's not gonna be I'm so used to Ramadan being in the summer and like wearing all of my abayas but I don't know how I'm gonna pull that off this year It'll probably have to be like long coats or I'll probably have to get, you know, one of those abayas that are like really thick. They're like coat material. So I'll probably have to grab one of those. Uh, but yeah, just getting everything out for Ramadan and preparing. Also preparing myself spiritually. I know it's not always like about decor and the food and dressing up, etc. The main thing about Ramadan is... You know taking advantage of this blessed month so preparing myself spiritually um, I'm trying to I wrote down some notes of goals that I want to hit this year inshallah not this year sorry uh, this Ramadan so doing that so basically this Ramadan this vlog is gonna be all about Ramadan so hopefully you enjoy it and you stick around anyway I'm gonna go make myself some coffee now so here is my little coffee corner and my new Nespresso machine. I opted for the white because I feel like it looks better in my kitchen. There's a the little frother. I'm going to use some oat milk. I feel like Oatly does the best oat milk. I've tried many but um, they don't froth up as nice as this one does. And I'm just going to top up on my Nespresso pods. And yeah, this is my little coffee corner. I'm going to try to make it more aesthetic but so far this is how we're looking. Alright guys, so I'm going to make my cappuccino with you guys. So I've just frothed up my milk. And let me just show you guys how it looks. Oh, incredible. So I'm just going to pour my milk in. Look how it... I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but I love it. It's so foamy. And then I have my Nespresso. Look at that, it's so creamy. And I always use the Smoomin Vanilla Syrup. It is so delicious. I need to get uh, the sugar-free ones because I'm trying to cut down on my sugar intake. But I'm just gonna eyeball this. 
I think that should be enough. I don't like my drinks to be too sweet because then I can't taste the caffeine. But yeah, that is all. So there's my coffee for the morning. Bismillah. I love it. I think I'm gonna just warm it up a little bit more because the only downside with the frother is um, it doesn't make it as hot as I would like. I like my drinks to be boiling hot where I have to <laughs> where I have to blow. Anyway, let me warm up my drink. my coffee and it was amazing I took like 10 minutes just to sit down um, on my armchair and look through the window and just take 10 minutes off to enjoy my coffee and sometimes you need that but anyway I got a um, delivery from Nespresso because we are almost running out of the ones that we got from Selfridges um, so I wanted to show you guys which ones I use in case you guys are uh, coffee addicts like me and you already have a espresso machine are you thinking about it but i use the green pots that i've shown you guys i don't know the names on here i don't know if they have a certain name but it has 10 capsules and it is very intense i'll just zoom in here okay so it is number 11 that means it's really intense as soon as you have this you will get a hit of caffeine and the aroma in the kitchen it smells so beautiful but that is the one that i get if you go to nespresso they have like a selection of capsules some are like spicy some have like vanilla notes just so many different flavors but we just went for the very simple one but quite intense and ahmed usually likes to have espresso um so that is why we got this and i like to have a very intense cappuccino so whenever i add milk it doesn't dilute it as much so this is the one that i got so i'm now just gonna fill the remaining and um oh also i wanted to show you guys um this little coffee cup that i got from amazon washed it up it is made from recycled uh material and how gorgeous is that? I'll show you Ahmed's one. He got me one and I was like, yeah, it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't go with my aesthetics. That's the one that Ahmed got. <laughs> and then this is my one. But um I'll link this down below if you guys are interested. It also comes in many beautiful colors. You could also use it as a top. It's quite cute. Don't even think. <laughs> I'll leave this bottle like it. <laughs> Grayson, no, that's coffee. That's not for you. So Ahmed's just come home and told me he's gonna take me to Nando's for lunch. I was actually gonna make myself a chicken salad, but I will not pass on. <laughs> I will not pass on Nando's, especially their halloumi. So we're going to Nando's. Yep. Going to Nando's, guys. Let's get ready. Go. Sahib. Yes. Hi. How was your Jum'ah today? Good, Alhamdulillah. I oh. managed to go and make my Friday prayers. What was the khutbah about? So the khutbah was about Ramadan. So Ramadan coming uh, nearer. Mm -hmm. So we have to look and We have to prepare yes. for Ramadan. So we are at Nando's. We just ordered our food. We're waiting. So um, I had halloumi here uh, the last time we were here and I fell in love and now the, the whole reason 
no reason I'm here to follow me. But yeah, waiting for our food. We got our food. I got my halloumi, coleslaw, some chicken. You ready, Habibi? Mm. Yes. Alright, let's eat. Bismillah. How is it? We are back from Nando's and I am literally in a food coma. Like I could go to sleep right now. I'm so tired. I really want to have a nap. I don't think going to Nando's was such a good idea because I think I'm done for the day. <laughs> like I'm knocked out. I'm ready. I say that I'll have a 30 minute nap and by the time I know it, two hours in. But yeah, you know you're getting old when taking a nap makes you excited. Like I'm literally excited to go upstairs, close my blinds and just knock out. But yeah, I say that and I have all the packages from Amazon staring at me. I was supposed to do an unboxing with you guys. I don't know if, I don't even know if I can, to be honest. Oh, the packages will have to wait till tomorrow. By the time I wake up, it's time to pick up Sophia. And I already know I can't get nothing done. It's full on mommy mode. So, unboxing for tomorrow. Yeah, Fadumafi or Fadumafu? Fadumafu, Yakifu. Good. Good morning, Gray. Good morning, guys. As you guys have just seen, Sophia was getting ready for Madrasa. But um, while she is in Madrasa, I am going to take advantage of the time. And I thought I'd go to this abaya shop all the way in Ilford. I love it there. It's one of my favorite uh, places to find nice abayas. So I'm going to go there and see if I could find anything uh, for Ramadan. But before that, just wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing. We are in all gray today. We are... Let's get the lighting. There we go. So we're matching the weather today, but all gray. I got this um, roll neck from, no it's not a roll neck, actually it's a high neck but I like to roll it. But I got it from uh, End of the Stories and then my trousers are from Uniqlo. I literally have these in every color. And then my hijab is from, god the lighting is so bad here. And then my hijab is from um, Shein. But yep, this is how we're looking, matching the weather. But anyway. Let's make a move. So, oh god, my head is my head's looking a little too big today, honey. Okay, anyway, let's fold this. Allah, why am I looking like an alien today? Mm mm. Allah, it is. The hijab is not hijabing today. Let's get some layers some folds actually push it back okay anyway we're just gonna leave it like that so I've dropped Sophia off got my coffee finished it I got a pumpkin spice latte and it was beautiful um, so now I am going to head to Ilford exchange there is a shop there um, the shop I mentioned earlier I think it's called Al Zarina Al Zarina something like that but it's on the top floor I usually go there to get like my Eid stuff, my Ramadan, and all other like hijabi essentials. They have like a selection of abayas, cohorts, hijabs. I remember I took my mom there uh, when she came in September. She was looking, she had a dira and she was trying to find a hijab to wear with it. So we went there. We always find like the exact same color and material, etc. <laughs> So 
So this is last year's Eid Abaya. This is where I got it from. It's this gorgeous teal. And they have it in all these gorgeous colors. This is the abaya that I was talking about, the heavier material. Now that Ramadan is going to be a little bit cold. So these will keep you nice and warm and you're still modest. So I'll probably grab this one. They're actually uh, selling out really quickly. So the abaya looks on. I'm literally wearing it with my outfit. But it just keeps you nice and warm and it's modest. It kind of feels like a rope. The only thing is I wish it was black or like a dark gray. I think that'd be lovely. That is how it looks. Knat Thobes for Ahmed and I really love this green one. It's like a emerald color. I think you would love that. Let's bring it here a bit. The lighting's off. And then I could just match with him. That is gorgeous. I think you would really like that. Hello guys, I am back home. And if you are wondering why I am so dolled up, I just did a TikTok video um, unboxing all the Ramadan decor. And uh, I'm gonna do that with you guys as well. Well, it's already unboxed, but I'll show you guys all the uh, stuff that I picked up. I thought I'd just dress up. Oh, and by the way, this is one of the abayas that was gifted to me. I'll show you guys that uh, a little bit later on. But let me show you guys all the stuff that I picked up from Amazon to decorate the house and a few stuff that we used last year. If you guys need an inspo and etc. So anyway, let me show you guys. So the first thing that we got is a advent calendar for Sophia. So I'm gonna fill these up with chocolate and little snacks and etc. And I also got um, this um, candle. When I tell you this smells so divine, I wish there was a smell of vision. It literally smells like vanilla and oud. And it is the perfect Ramadan scent. It's heavenly. So check that brand out. I think they're pronounced wadi or wadi. But yeah, gorgeous. And then these are last year's lantern, if you guys remember. Um, I got some candle holders, which I'll be using for the table. And these little lanterns are from Ikea. They light up, so I scatter these around the house, especially in Sophia's room. She loves it. When it's dark, you can see um, like the crescent moon and the stars all over her wall. And these are, I don't know what these are called, but they're just like little decor for either the table, but I'm gonna put these on the bookshelf. There's two, so, and then that one is just a moon and some stars. And I picked these up uh, recently, and they have Eid Mubarak, they're like fairy lights. And then they have just moon, and then some lanterns. And then I got some candle, uh, not candle, sorry, napkin holders. Okay, we'll focus, and it says Ramadan. And then I also picked this up for the door. So I'm gonna put some flowers on these and some um, fairy lights. And whenever we have guests, they'll be greeted with Ramadan cream. And then I picked up this uh, tray. So I'm gonna use this, for example, like I said earlier, when I have guests, and just fill it up with like biscuits and cookies and dates, etc. And if we come back over here, this is last year's um, bunting banners and this is my absolute favorite item that I got this year. So this is a countdown. It says days till Ramadan, uh, no sorry, days till Eid and Eid Mo uh, Ramadan Mubarak. And as you can see, you just literally count the days down till um, Eid. And last but not least, I got another bunting banner the reason i got these is because they light up so i'm gonna figure out which one i want to use for the living room and for the kitchen but these light up so they are going to look so magical i think i'll probably put these in the kitchen when we're like having our iftar etc but this is everything that we got um anyway i am running out of breath <laughs> i'm gonna go sit down and just drink some water because i have been on my feet all day 
all right guys so this is how the abaya looks i am so in love as you can see it is like a ombre effect with black and beige i absolutely love it and i've just paired it with like gold earrings but if i was to style this i would probably pair it with like gold accessories um shoes bag etc all that stuff that is how the bag looks i am so in love but yeah this is one of the abayas that was gifted to me so thank you i will link the brand um this website um in the description box but that is how it looks i love it i feel so girly in it all right guys i am going to end the vlog here this vlog is already long longer than um i expected so i'm gonna end it here um inshallah for the next vlog i am going to be decorating the house so look out for that and i'm planning inshallah to do like a ramadan ramadan vlog what is it called i forgot what it was called it's like vlogmas is that what it's called? vlogmas for ramadan i think that's what it's called probably using the wrong term but anyway thank you guys for watching if you've come this far i appreciate you if you enjoyed this video don't uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and inshallah i'll catch you guys on my next one bye guys